Hi there, welcome along to today's vlog. Please don't forget, hit subscribe if you're new here, and if you're not new here, and even if you are new here, whatever. I really need those likes. Those likes encourage me to make more videos. I've not been making so many videos recently. Hit a like, and uh, yeah, the thing's gone off here, hasn't it? Anyway, today I have the brand new Yanni gold-plated, gold. I love gold-plated uh, Alto ligature that was just sent uh, to me last week. I've just not had a chance to get anywhere near the review. This follows on from the Sixis uh, ligatures, which you can watch here. Um, yeah, it looks amazing. It feels incredibly fragile, ligatures often are, um, but um, it offers supposedly a greater response. It's beautifully, beautifully made. Um, Yanni, yeah, they were spent all night thinking of that name, didn't they? Uh, but it's made by Yanagasawa, made in Japan. It looks beautiful, it's incredibly lightweight, but obviously what's really important when it comes to anything to do with the saxophone is what does it sound like, how does it change how I play my saxophone. So doing this review on a Yanagasawa W010 Alto with my Sios signature mouthpiece, which I'm gonna grab right now. All the details are below in the description if you're ever worried about my setup. Well, well you should be worried about it, but if you're ever wanting to know what setup I'm using, they're all there. <laughs> against the sixes. Let's see if there's a difference there between those two Yanni ligatures. That one definitely feels duller, um, a, a slightly darker sound than the new one, the new Yanni one. So this is the sixes, which has these six points of contact on the mouthpiece. Let's go back to the Yanni. You know, those low notes are just zinging through no problem at all. Now, that's not just the ligature, there's a lot more to it than that, but it is helping and it is more responsive, which is what I do like. <laughs> Covid chops on the old Altissimo register. <laughs> it's not bringing through in the Altissimo the way I'd hoped. I'm just going to try it on the Sixes. Disclaimer here, it's been COVID. I barely played my alto, apart from teaching. And as if you're a regular watcher, you'll know, predominantly as an alto player, I tend to play classical, not jazz. Yeah, it's me. I do prefer the sixes myself. I maybe may need more time. This is a bit too, this is bright. This is definitely a punchier, brighter ligature. The brighter sound that I'm getting from that ligature, I should say. Whoa, my 
out if some more chops are out. There's a bit more resistance there, there's a bit more punch on this new one, the new Yanni ligature, than there is on the sixes. So it's a personal preference. For me personally, I prefer the other one, the sixes, but this is still a fantastic ligature. I need more time. Check back in with me in a few weeks, make sure you're subscribing, and I will do a follow-up review when I've had a bit more time to play with it. Now the more observant amongst you would have noticed that I also pulled this out of the box when I was doing the unboxing. That is a new mouthpiece cap from Yannick Osawa which uses sustainable materials. I'm going to do a review about that in a few weeks time but actually one of the things I want to do is a vlog and I've just been sending off some emails about it today. Uh, it's the COP26 climate conference next month in Glasgow and I'm actually wanting to put together a video to ask various saxophone manufacturers, other musicians etc about what the music industry is doing and what the industry could do better to combat climate change in light of COP26. So I just wondered, what would your questions be? What would your questions be to Selma, Yanagasawa, Yamaha? Uh, what would your questions be to professional musicians, to tour managers? I wanna be able to interview people like that. Because actually, thinking about it, I know very, very little about the impact that the music industry is having on the climate. And it must be having something, given the amount of air travel, freight, and everything else that goes on within the industry. So pop your questions in the comments below, and I hope to be able to ask them ask those questions and find you some answers. I've got to admit, I've never really thought of the environmental impact of shipping a saxophone, say from Japan to London, um, from Paris to New York or further. I mean, you know, what's going on with that? What goes on? I mean, you can obviously, with business travel, we know it's not great. With lots of people going on cheap, uh, short haul flights around Europe. And hmm, it would be interesting to know what steps the music industry is already taking and what steps they could do further and what your questions will be about that. So do keep them coming in. Thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Uh, the autumn leaves are nearly here. And uh, I look forward to getting some more vlogs for you guys done throughout the autumn. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.